Jenny asked if there was one thing you could tell an aspiring elite athlete that would boost their mental game, what would it be? The best mental preparation is physical preparation. If I prepare physically and do everything I'm supposed to do, I earn the right to be confident when I walk into the arena to compete. The question then is, how do you get up mentally, not just for the competition, but for every day's workout, that drudgery of training, the monotony of doing the same things over and over again? Because much of what we do in sport is repetitive in nature. To really perfect something, you have to do it over and over and over again. And that's when things stop being fun, because it's not new. Uh, we, love, we love new things, uh, but doing the same thing over and over, boy, it's, it's tough. And so what I would try to do when I felt beat or down or tired is I tried to close my eyes and imagine the greatest experience possible. I, I would ask myself or I'd ask my teammates when we're working together, I'd say, hey, why are we here? What are we doing this for? What's the goal? And we identify the goal and ask, okay, is it still worth working for right now? Is that goal still worth working for when I'm tired? Is it still worth working for when I'm beat? Is it still worth working for when I just want to go home? It's the end of the day, and is, is it still worth it? And if I could honestly say, oh, yeah, you know what, it still is great, then, then let's do one more routine. Give it that little extra. And, and that's what that's what I did. And, and so uh, I, I would try to, to do that. And it's once again, it's easy on the good days. It's easy when things are going well. It's really hard when you're tired and when you, when you just want to go home at the end of the day. Um, now, having said that, there are times that you do have to pack it in and go home you're going to reach a point of diminishing returns when you're training. And, and and that's where you have to be smart and ask yourself, if I stay in this gym for 20 more minutes, is it going to make me a better gymnast or is it going to, is it going to tear me down and make me a worse athlete? Am I, am I, am I risking injury by staying too long? And, and you have to be smart and you have to ask those questions of yourself all the time. But uh, for me, just for me personally, I always thought, you know, I could do a little bit more. I'm tired and I want to go home, but I could do a little bit more. And so I forced myself tough to do that little extra and it, it really paid off. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization mp3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the mental toughness trainer.